Hey everybody, it's Jay here and today I'm making a six months on tea video. I'm actually six months and a day on tea right now, but I don't know when this video goes up. My six months on tea is the 17th of April for the record. So whenever this video goes up might vary from my actual six months on tea date, but you know my six months on tea date so you can tell when this was actually filmed. So, um, I have a list of changes so I don't forget anything because I think it's important to not miss anything. So for anybody who didn't already know, so anybody who is probably new to my channel, that's probably the only way you wouldn't know these things. Um, I started testosterone on October 17th, 2015. I was on Testogel for four and a half months. Um, with Testogel, I was on it every three days for a month, every two days for a month, and then every day for two and a half months. After those four and a half months on Testogel were up, I swapped to Sustanon. And I've been on Sustanon for a month and a half. I've had two shots. And my Sustanon is every four weeks. So I'm halfway through my second shot cycle. Um, the reason I went on test gel first is because in Ireland they tend to put you on test gel first just to make sure you don't have any adverse effects to the testosterone itself. And just to make sure that your body is taking to it well, that you're not experiencing any negative side effects of testosterone treatment. For example, some people who have like certain uh, uterine conditions like endometriosis might experience problems in terms of that area. It might make their, their condition worse, possibly. I know some people who didn't know they had endometriosis went on tea and their endometriosis got, just got 20,000 times worse. Like it wasn't like symptomatic beforehand and then it became symptomatic. So that's why I was put on test gel first, especially since I'm 16, I'm young, they don't wanna fuck me up. So changes. First of all, emotionally, I feel a lot more level headed. I feel a lot more relaxed, calm, more in control of my life. And those are all really important things for me. I definitely feel like I'm more confident as well, but I think that's mostly just because I'm seeing changes and therefore I'm feeling better in myself. And I know that while it's a process, I am changing and I know that I'm changing and that's really good. Like even just, even just the confidence boost of knowing that I'm on testosterone is great. Um, for voice, I forgot to open up my YouTube channel so I could show you the voice comparison. So I'm gonna keep talking while I open that up. Um, for facial hair, I have some. Uh, I spent so much time looking for facial hair down here that I didn't realize mine was actually starting on the upper lip. I have got like facial hair chilling out around here. It's real cool. Um, it's very minimal, you can't see it that great. Sorry, it's like, mm. You can kind of see a shadow at certain angles, but like not very well, not very much. Um, it's pretty cool. Personally, I really like it, even though it's so minimal. Um, my hairline, I feel like it's gone back a bit, but you can't really tell, I don't think, because I didn't take a picture beforehand. I feel like all this regression here is new. And like, I feel like this has gone back a bit further. Like obviously this is where my parting is. It does kind of naturally break along here. But I feel like that's further back than it used to be. And this is definitely new. This whole moving back over here while there's still quite a lot there is definitely new. I love male pattern baldness, don't you? Um, I have now got my uh, comparison up. So are you ready for this? This is my voice 10 months ago. So four months before I even started tea. Let's wait till it loads. Hey everybody, it's Jay here, and I'm back. I have so for a comparison. Hey everybody, it's Jay here, and I'm back. So my voice has gotten significantly deeper. Uh, my singing voice is out of control. I can't sing high at all, really, and that's great <laughs> to be honest. But my voice has definitely gotten significantly deeper, noticeably deeper, and I love it. Um, in terms of a lot of people talk about weight gain when they go on tea and muscle gain. And I would definitely say that I've noticed more musculature on my upper body than I had before. I do go to the gym, so that is obviously going to be a contributing factor. But I feel like I'm, I am gained more muscle since I started tea than I did when I was going to the gym before I was on tea. 
so that is definitely an improvement um i feel like my weight went up but i don't think it was a, f a, a like a bad weight it was muscle that i gained rather than actual fat and i think that's good because i didn't get hungry or anything when i went on tea some people do i didn't um body hair is everywhere i have body hair right up to my upper arms i have body hair on my thighs i have stomach hair like all over my stomach but particularly like down the middle especially like beneath my belly button um i've got more crotch hair that like spreads further up and further onto the thighs than it did before um i've got a lot of leg hair particularly like ankle hair that's growing downwards onto my foot and yeah there's body hair everywhere really ass hair is an interesting phenomenon but it's not too bad uh boob size i feel like my boobs have gone a bit smaller but not significantly and partly because i've been going to the gym again it's not just testosterone that's affecting that it's a lot of other things um and then periods I'm best to last. Might have effectively stopped now after about six months. I do sometimes get a tiny bit of bleeding here and there, but like nothing significant enough that I could call it a period in my mind. Um, uh, even for the first like four and a half months when I was on T, where I was still getting periods, they were significantly less intense, which was great. And yeah, I feel like that's all the update that I need to give. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, the like button's down here. Subscribe button's over here. The comment box is open to any questions you have about the effects of tea for me. If there's anything you feel like I should have mentioned that you want to know about that I didn't mention, feel free to ask. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.